the Duke of Sussex reunited with his brother, Prince William, on Thursday to reveal a bronze statue of their late mother, the Princess of Wales. The small event marked what would have been Diana's 60th birthday. Harry has already returned to California following his fleeting visit back to the UK for the unveiling of the statue. His visit comes after the two royal siblings seemingly put an end to their ongoing rift as they spoke and laughed during the event. But a source has claimed that it will be almost impossible for Prince William to ever trust his brother again. Another insider told the Mirror. Despite William and Harry coming together this week for the sole cause of commemorating their mother's legacy, Harry is very much on the outside. They put on a show, did what they had to do to make sure the day went without a hitch and said goodbye. It was nothing more, there was nothing to discuss. Things are still far too raw for William and other members of the family to entertain Harry, so it's best to let things lie for the moment. William and Harry's once deep bond has become incredibly strained following the decision of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to step back as senior royals. Rumours of a rift between Harry and William have persisted for years, with the younger sibling hinting at the feud in a TV interview in 2019. Tensions began when William offered Harry advice on taking things slow with Meghan, something the younger son bristled at. And the situation escalated when Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior members of the royal family without any warning last year. Their relationship deteriorated significantly following Meghan and Harry's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in March. The couple made several shocking allegations against the royal family including claiming there were conversations about Archie's skin color. Meghan also claimed she was suicidal during her time as a member of the royal family. Since then, Harry has also taken part in a podcast and a documentary series where he has hit out at the royal family. In May, the Duke of Sussex appeared on the Armchair Expert podcast where he said he does not want to pass on pain from his own experience to his son Archie and daughter, Lilibet. Harry said, I don't think we should be pointing the finger or blaming anybody, but certainly when it comes to parenting, if I've experienced some form of pain or suffering because of the pain or suffering that perhaps my father or my parents had suffered, I'm going to make sure I break that cycle so that I don't pass it on, basically. It's a lot of genetic pain and suffering that gets passed on anyway so we as parents should be doing the most we can to try and say, you know what, that happened to me, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen to you. He added, it's hard to do but for me, it comes down to awareness. I never saw it. I never knew about it. And then suddenly I started to piece it together and go okay. So this is where he went to school. This is what happened. I know this about his life. I also know that is connected to his parents so that means HES treated me the way he was treated. So how can I change that for my own kids? In a documentary series, called The Me You Can't See, Harry also opened up about his experiences with mental health, claiming his suffering goes back to the same people, the same business model and the same industry.